Augustus used his new powers cautiously, retaining many of the forms of the old republic while concentrating power in his own hands. At the same time, he turned over many of the day-to-day -day tasks of running the government to a competent civil service. In this way, he left himself free to devote his energies to improving and strengthening the empire. Generally, Augustus and his successors used their unlimited power to give the Romans what they wanted. They erected aqueducts to provide a steady supply of fresh water, built new roads to improve trade and granted more rights to the people living in the provinces outside Italy. And the emperors gave the masses bread and circuses, free food and lavish entertainments to suppress any discontent. But some emperors abused their power. Rome's third emperor, Caligula, demanded that people address him as a god. He routinely tortured and executed his enemies. After his death, a rumor spread that he had given his horse a manger of ivory and appointed it to a high government post. The excesses of Nero, Rome's fifth emperor, may have surpassed even Caligula. The Roman people blamed Nero for setting a fire that destroyed much of Rome, just so that he could have a hand in rebuilding the city. He further used the fire as an excuse to persecute Rome's Christians, accusing them of starting the blaze. Despite these abuses, the Roman Empire prospered for 200 years. Beginning with the reign of the first Emperor Augustus, Romans enjoyed the Pax Romana, or Roman peace. During this time, Rome's power reached its height, and Romans enjoyed a period of peace and prosperity longer than any Europeans had ever known. <laughs>